Hello, Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you all? I'm good. I hope you people are fine as well. How was your Eid? Did you enjoy Eid? I enjoyed it a lot. Um I welcome you to the first lecture of grade 6 syllabus of geography. My name is Zonia Nain and yes, we are going to have fun. But before we start our first lecture, please quickly get your textbook World Watch 1. that should be with you people whenever you are watching a presentation a notebook and a pen to note down the important points which will be mentioned in the slide any activity which is mentioned in the slide you people can note it down keep on underlining the important points and definitions on the book learn them from the book and wherever i ask you to note down the definition on the book you're supposed to note it down side by side so for great learning of geography these tips are really going to help you out okay so let's start with our topic we're going to start with first unit of your world watch one and its name is the universe now i would like to tell you over here is that this whole presentation is your full week's work you can divide your work and complete the homework as per this schedule i have designed it for you people in the school will be having three lessons of geography so i have divided this whole presentation into three parts uh, on day 1 you can go through slide number 4 5 and 6 which comprises of page number 2 and 3 of your book it has topics uh, of constellations and where did stars come from and your homework will be will perform the activity which is mentioned in slide number 7 you will read page number 2 and 3 of unit 1 which will be covering and you will learn the important points which i'll make you underline on day 2 you can go through slide number 8 9 10 11 and 12 it's all about formation of a star which is a small little paragraph on page number 3 of your book you will read this um topic as your additional task and you will learn the points which will be marked as important you have to try to answer the questions which are in your spot test on slide number 13 so that you can check your understanding and your concepts on day 3 by taking help from your book and the google classroom lecture you will answer some of the questions which will be given on slide number 14 so it's basically day 3 is your written work day then after you are done with it your homework will be to revise these questions and answers let's check out what are the objectives of this lecture what are you going to study is you'll be focusing on the knowledge of the earth's place in the universe as a part of a solar system we'll also focus on what are stars what are constellations and what is a nebula will perform an activity to know more about the constellations that will be your home task and will also describe how stars formed and the role of nebula in the formation of a star so it's going to be really interesting all right before we proceed you have your textbooks with you please open your textbooks page number 2 okay it is unit 1 the universe i have my textbook with me as well and on the top of this page write down today's date the way we used to do in the class write down today's day and write down today's date okay okay i hope you people are doing it done great now as the name of the chapter is the universe we are supposed to discuss first what is universe do you know which objects make a universe yes any idea please write it down on your rough copy quickly and see is it this all of the objects and energy in space make up the universe all the objects means we have studied about stars planets moons there are other heavenly bodies like asteroids meteoroid comets and many other objects dust then we have um you know rocks and certain other things gases all these things and the energy these things are having energy is really important because 
if energy is there then only processes can be carried on okay so all the objects and energy in space they make up the universe right now what are you supposed to do is right now your books are open in front of you take your pencil and write down the definition of universe with the topic where the universe is written okay quickly write down so now we know what is the meaning of this unit now we will proceed hmm how many of you have ever looked up at the stars in the clear night sky i used to do that a lot when i was uh, a child with my siblings we used to lay down under the night sky and we used to look at the stars and yes we used to make different kinds of patterns as well okay we used to join the stars and we used to say oh over there see it's written w see it's written u so how many of you have been doing it if you have not enjoyed this moment do it any day okay go uh, you know on the rooftop or in your lawn but make sure there are no clouds it's a clear night sky okay and observe the stars they're so beautiful like this see they look so beautiful okay here this is how we used to do in our childhood we used to join the stars with lines imaginary bases okay on imaginary bases in our mind and we used to make different shapes okay like this this is a very common shape we'll do this later as well this is called little bear check out some constellations on page number 2 of your book have you seen there are two constellations which are given in your book cassiopeia and ursa major the big dipper these two are given in your book right now what are these patterns called these patterns are called as constellations right when you join the stars and you make different patterns those different patterns are known as the constellations right okay now as the definition of star is not mentioned in your book please write it down where constellations is written right over there write down the definition of a star what is a star a star is a mass of burning gases remember this thing that stars are made up of gases burning gases as the stars are made up of burning gases this is the reason the stars shine so you can say that the stars have light of their own right okay now constellations constellations are the patterns which are made by the stars this definition is already given in your book i'll make you mark it in the next slide right now write down the definition of the star with constellations because this question can also be asked what is the difference between a star and a constellation so if you are knowing the definition of a star it will be very easy for you people to differentiate them right okay now we will underline and write down important things on page number 2 right i'll guide you in the next slide you also have to read the topic constellations which is on page number 2 only the topic constellations right Here is page number 2 of your book. Okay, you are already done with date and day. Then you have written the definition of the universe. You have written the definition of the star. Here what are you going to do is you people are going to read the topic constellations which is on page number 2. It is from here. Have you ever looked up at the stars from here till here and these two pictures of constellations okay okay now what is next you don't have to forget to write down the definition of a star and underline the definition of constellation over here the patterns made by the stars are called constellations now here is your first task this is an activity which you are going to do you have to show me your skills now what are you going to do is 
you have to look at the sky after it is dark make sure that it's a clear night sky there are no clouds so that you can uh, sight the stars clearly right it is best to face south we have already done the compass right you people know where is east and where is west okay now what you can do is where the sun sets is the west okay and all of you must be knowing where in which direction do we face when we offer namaz okay so the direction towards which we face uh, when we offer namaz is west okay now when you will face towards the west on your left hand side will be the south i'm repeating it again when you are facing towards the west on your left hand side will be the south okay so for this activity it's best to face south take help from the compass or the trick i have told you that's better you have to observe the stars make sure you have a paper pencil or a notebook and a pencil with you observe the stars and make different patterns in your mind okay copy the uh, location of those stars and try to make some constellations of your own and what you are going to do is after you are done with the task bring this task and this activity along with you when you come in the jo uh, in the geography zoom class i would like to i would love to look at your constellations you people have drawn all right now our next topic is formation of a star right how did the stars form where did the stars come from so uh, in simple words if we want to answer a star is formed from a nebula nebula is singular and nebulae is plural try to pronounce it with me nebula which is singular nebulae plural a star is formed from a nebula it is important to describe over here what is a nebula okay you can look at this picture which is given in this slide you can see it's very colorful picture there are different stars shining uh there are different you know colorful uh effects in this picture uh you know for thousands of years it remained a mystery uh you know as to where stars came from so astronomers have proposed different kinds of theories about the formations of the stars but now uh the sci the astronomers believe that star is formed from a nebula so this is actually a picture of a nebula what is a nebula nebula is a massive massive means giant big very big a massive cloud of gases now the gases are mostly hydrogen and helium you know these are light gases and uh, dust and cosmic rays in the universe nebula is made up of gases which are having hydrogen and helium dust and cosmic rays in the universe now what are cosmic rays cosmic rays are highly energetic you know particles which are traveling through the space and they're approaching uh, you know uh, at a speed of light right so nebula is a cloud which is made up of gases which is made up of dust and it also it is also having cosmic rays in it right so remember this thing that these clouds uh, the nebula they are very different from uh, the normal uh, you know clouds which uh, water droplets uh, the clouds which have water droplets on rainy day so do not confuse these clouds uh, with those clouds okay now for many years scientists have observed these uh, nebulae in the space and one of them is the largest nebula and is known as the orion nebula right so it is important to remember that the largest nebula is the orion nebula all this information is given on page 2 and 3 of your books a photograph of orion nebula is also shown on page number 4 of your books though we have not read uh, page number 4 till here but uh, as uh, i have discussed orion nebula with you so you can just turn the page to page number 4 of your textbooks and you can uh, see orion nebula over there right all this information is given under the topic where did stars come from which is on page number 2 and is continued to page number 3 of your books right 
Now these are the two pages of your books. Page number this the first one is this is page number two and this is page number three. Okay, your topic which we have discussed right now is this one. Where did stars come from? You are going to read from here for thousands of years till here. Okay. And you are going to underline the definition of nebula the way I have underlined. The massive clouds of gases, mostly hydrogen and helium, dust and cosmic rays in the universe are called nebulae. Singular is the nebula. And one more important thing, the Orion Nebula is one of the largest nebula in the sky. Right? So please read the topic where did stars come from, which is on page 2 and 3. Underline the facts, the important things about nebula right and if you have any question note it down on a piece of paper and then bring it along with you in the zoom class so that we can discuss okay let's move on to our next subtopic which is a star is born it is given on page number three of your books there is no relevant picture given in your book so I have added pictures over here for better understanding First of all, we will go through the procedure, how a star is born, what is uh, the process through which uh, it undergoes uh, before its birth. And then I'll show you different stages with the help of the picture as well. I'll share links with you as well, right? Okay, a star is born from a nebula. This we have already discussed. And remember in, this, uh, in your mind that nebula is a cloud, is a kind of cloud which is made up of gases, dust and cosmic rays. As it is a cloud, so remember it is not having any shape. It is not having any uniform shape. Okay, it is mentioned on your page number three. Please underline this line that a nebula is huge and does not have a uniform shape. It is important. Okay, now uh, remember one more thing that all the objects which are present in the universe, which comprise of the universe, they have their own gravity. Okay, you people know what is gravity. We'll do an activity later as well. Gravity is a force which pulls everything towards its center. Okay, now nebula is also also having gravity because of that gravity nebula collects the dust and gas together okay nebula is already made up of dust and gas along with cosmic rays so it gathers it collects the dust and gas together and what happens when it collects everything the mass the whole nebula it starts to heat up it becomes hotter and hotter and the center of the nebula the middle part of the nebula which is having gravity as well it becomes thick enough as the nebula breaks into smaller pieces okay as it is gathering everything towards its center so everything is coming and falling into the center and everything as everything falls into the center what happens the temperature starts to rise and the center becomes thick the center becomes dense now as everything is falling into the center because of the gravity of the nebula, the temperature starts to rise. Okay, because you people know when even you rub your hands together, what are you doing? You are actually increasing the temperature because of that rubbing. Okay, you are rubbing and you are increasing the temperature. Same is the case over here. When everything is falling into the center, it's collapsing, it's breaking and then temperature is rising okay as you know there are certain gases there are so many gases but mainly hydrogen and helium so the reactions they start to take place right now when the reactions start to take place remember when any reaction takes place okay the temperature starts to rise wherever any reaction starts to take place the temperature starts to rise now the temperature of the nebula starts to rise continuously okay because constantly nuclear reactions are taking place constantly chemical reactions are taking place the fragments are falling the pieces are falling into it and ultimately when the temperature reaches about 10 million degrees celsius what happens the center of the nebula it begins to burn and it forms a star okay now remember over here that a star is formed from the gases which are there in the nebula nebula is made up of cosmic rays gases and dust mainly okay now gases have formed the stars and this is the reason those gases they emit radiations so the stars have their light of own 
okay stars are having their own light uh, light this is the process how a star is born kindly understand it it is very important you can write it in your own words but please do not miss out the main points which are written in bold letters over here okay you can write down there is a question i think at the end as well how is a star born or explain the birth of a star it's your choice either you can uh, uh, write down from the book which is given uh, the content which is given on page number 3 of your book under the heading a star is born or you can take help from this presentation please read the topic which is on page number 3 a star is born here i have some uh, you know picture pictures or stages you can say of formation of a star if you look at this first picture it is simple nebula which has no uniform shape irregular shape is there okay now over here uh, chemical reactions have started and the nebula has started to collapse and break into smaller fragments right as it has started to break into smaller fragments the temperature has started to rise pressure has uh, risen and the chemical reactions have started now you can see that over here there is a proper center of the nebula which is visible in this picture and it is a little bit glowing as well as compared to the rest of the nebula right now all the fragments are moving constantly in a circle okay and are constantly falling into the middle it's just like this a process is going on like this and ultimately falling into the middle then again moving like this and falling into the middle this process increases the temperature and pressure of the nebula as it keeps on happening you can see the center of the nebula has started to burn and this is how the gases are forming the star and ultimately it has formed a star now the star can burn and it can emit radiations for millions of years and remember star has a life too okay they keep on uh, you know taking birth from the nebula they keep on forming keep on dying and this is an ongoing process which happens okay there are so many nebulae in our universe there are so many nebulae in the galaxy in one galaxy there are so many nebulae right we'll study about the galaxies uh, as well here are some of the links for you people you can check some animations of life of a star on www.science.nasa.gov the other one is www.bbc.co.uk on youtube you can search nebula star formation and on google search you can type how a star is formed and you can enjoy different videos on this now this is page number 3 of your books we have just read about a star is born you are supposed to read this topic this complete topic a star is born this whole paragraph is important please mark it important you cannot miss any point because it's telling you about the procedure of the birth of a star okay so you cannot miss out any point read this topic and learn the complete concept of birth of a star Now we are done with the lecture here is the time to test yourself you can check your understanding how much have you understood try to answer these questions on your own number 1 what are the patterns made by the stars called you people have done it this was the first topic of the chapter why do you think the temperature of a nebula rises during a star formation you can go through the topic a star is born and then there over there you can see why the temperature of the nebula rises when a star is uh, formed okay and the third one is do you think a star is different from a nebula if you think a star is different from a nebula how you're supposed to give reasons try to answer these questions on your rough notebook and then check from page number 2 and 3 of your books how much have you understood All right this is the end of your lesson now it's time for your written work what are you supposed to do is you are going to do these question answers in your notebooks the notebooks which are already with you your last year second term notebooks must be with you people you can utilize those notebooks to write down these answers do the work very neatly write down date day and then uh, the name of the unit unit number proper margin lines i know you people will do it very nicely so let's just discuss the question answers you people are supposed to do in your notebooks 
Question number one is define a star, constellation and nebula. Please define them. Write down the definitions. They are all in the presentation and you have marked them in your books as well. Your second question is what makes a star shine brightly? Hmm, you have to think about the composition of nebula. Uh, what is there in the nebula that you know makes star shine brightly when a star is born right then third question is you have to write down difference between a planet and a star now here make sure you're writing at least three differences because all of them have already been discussed in the lecture all right so um, the differences should be written which are supposed to be at least three differences it's better to draw a line in the middle on one side write down planet and on the other side write down star if you're going to write down first difference make sure you're writing about the same thing like I'll give you an example number one a star is made up of gases and opposite to it you will write down planet is made up of rocks in the same way you will write down number two and number three I hope this is clear and your last question is name a nebula that can be seen from the earth they are short questions they are are very easy to answer concept based you people will do in minutes and uh, please go through your work before you submit it and don't forget to learn and do this work very nicely okay uh, once more I'll tell you that all the questions answers are in this presentation and lecture you have uh, marked them answer these questions and note down any question whose answer is not clear to you you can ask and discuss that question in the zoom class and please come prepared for the zoom lecture as well with all the activities which are mentioned over here and any questions you people are having thank you very much everybody I hope you people have understood the lecture and the main concepts if there is anything which was not understandable please note it down on your notebook and uh, come prepared in the zoom class and keep on working hard Allah Hafiz